Blah, 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 blah. Can you guys hear me? Sound off in the chat if you can hear me. Give me a hell yeah if you're ready for some Civilization Six Rise and Fall. Oh, I'm hearing myself on my stream, so that's a good sign. Should probably mute that, though. All right, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get out of there because... Uh, once I click back over to Civ, it's going to be full screen for me and my computer. So the only way I'm going to be able to see chat is I've got my phone with the chat up, pulled up on it, sitting on my laptop. So hopefully I can glance down at that and see what you fine folks have to say while I'm playing. Also, it's late. I know the walls in my apartment are fairly thin, so I'm probably not going to get super loud. So yeah, get ready for a... Nice and chill and relaxed stream, because it's Saturday night and uh, was going to play Fighters, but then decided I was a little, you know, just kind of, I don't want to say I'm tired, like, like I'm sick of Fighters, but I feel like I need to give it a break. It's basically been the only video game I've played since it's come out, and ready, ready to throw some variety back in there. Fananers, I'm, <laughs> I'm streaming from a laptop. I, I do not have a second monitor to work with at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, running on that old cheap O setup. But all right, let's uh, let's set up a new game. How how we feeling? Um, one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna set the game speed to quick. Online, I feel like is a little too fast, and it makes us just zip through things. And I'm not a big fan of that. Standard is how I kind of normally play, but I'm gonna say let's do quick. Because I want to make some progress. I don't know if we'll be keeping this save. We'll actually try to play this to the end or not. Uh, and with that, I'll probably just set the standard. Not going to make it huge. But, yeah. Uh, who, who do we, who do we want to play as? Uh, I, I'm favoring some of the new people. Like, I, I would like to play with someone I haven't had a chance to play with. So that leaves us with Chand Chandragupta of India. Uh, we got Genghis Khan, Mongolia. Uh, you're old, you're old, you're old, you're old. Lautaro of the Ma of the Mapuche. Um, Pound Maker. Apparently, there was some uh, controversy around that guy. Robert the Bruce. I actually might go with that guy just because I like that name. And it's Scotland. Ooh, and we get to make golf courses. That's kind of neat. Uh. Siondok of Korea. Also, I am going to mispronounce names because I am about as sheltered American country boy as it got at one point before moving here to Texas. And yeah, moving to Texas was a step up in uh, culture for me. Uh, Shaka of the Zulu. Um, Tamar, I believe, is also new. Of Georgia. Or is also new. Good old Teddy, my boy, but he is not new. And Wilhelm Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling Robert the Bruce. If uh if, if there's anyone you guys in the chat really 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 want to see, let me know. Start sounding off. But I uh, Robert the Bruce, I'm kind of into. Not seeing not seeing too much. Not seeing too much uh. Backlash ongoing with my boy Robert the Bruce. Let's see. Let me just get a read it. Also, let me know if my levels are okay. The music's kind of loud for me. I actually might go back and lower. The actually, I could just lower the volume on my computer. Hold on a second. I don't know if things will freak out when I alt tab out of this. I'm gonna lower my volume here because it is blasting in my headphones. All right. <clears throat> Levels are pretty solid. Thank you. Good audio. You guys should be hearing music. If you are not hearing the game's music, then that is a problem. Uh, <clears throat> can't declare a war of liberation after gaining the defensive tactics civic. Uh, plus 100 production and 2 movement. First 10 turns after declaring a war of liberation. All right. So that means I can fight to free a place. That's not bad. Uh... Happy Cities receive an additional 5% science and production uh, 
Happy cities generate a great scientist point and a great engineer point for their respective zones. Ecstatic cities double all these amounts. Game music is low, but my audio is good. Well, if that's the case, hold on. I can... Because I, I want you guys to be able to hear this, because a, a cool part of these games is uh, how much... You know, they, they, they put some attention to detail in what music they pick for different sieves. I'll put it about here, and if I see people complaining about it, I can jump in there and change that. Like I said, this is going to be chill AF. I will be changing stuff on the fly, because I don't stream from this rig all that often. Might as well figure it out. Golf courses. With uh, Builder gets this ability. Unique to Scotland. Extra amenity, plus two gold, and culture if, the adjacent, if adjacent to a city center district. Culture if adjacent to entertainment complex district. Additional tourism and housing as you advance through the civics and technology tree it cannot be placed on desert or desert hills. One per city. Okay, so I can't make multiple golf courses a city. Otherwise, I could be filling up on amenities real easy. Tiles with gol golf courses cannot be swapped. Okay, so once I build a golf course, there's no changing it back. Is that what that means? Oh, is Ito in the chat? What up? Scottish unique industrial era unit, the Highlander, replaces the Ranger. Strong reconnaissance unit, plus five combat strength bonuses when fighting in hill and forest terrain. Neat. All right. We'll be Scots. I don't, I'm not an accent guy. So don't expect good accents from me. From the first Talk to me, Sean Bean. Oy. What's the what's a what is what's if I've got any Scots in the stream? What are what are some con common Scottish turns of phrases? As the stalwart defender of Scotland, you are no stranger to war. Aye. You seek to inflict it. If you keep your people happy, you will inspire them to greatness. Let anyone who takes advantage of your weaker neighbors meet your fearless Highlanders. They can teach the true meaning of freedom. Aye. Game audio is super low, so you guys didn't get to hear Sean Bean's diatribe on how great I am. Hold on. Well, that needs to be fixed. Let's up it to full power. This is as loud as it gets, according to OBS, so... Uh, that ain't enough for you. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, people are saying, there we go, there it is. I accept its default maximum setting. Alright, well. Uh, looks like we got some tundra to the south, so it looks like we're going to be building north for our city. Uh, you can see that by the snow beginning to form and it, you know, saying tundra right there. Um, I'm going to try and talk you guys through decisions I make, because I play Civ like a dummy. I'm going to go ahead and say on the record, I've got, let me see if I can pull up... You guys won't be able to see it, but I'm going to pull up Steam for myself just so I can see how many hours I've put into this. Um, come on, Steam, show up. There we go. I saw it for a second. Uh, yeah, according to Steam, I have played over 176 hours of this game. I do not think I am good at Civ. Uh, I may have won that little skirmish we had at the office, but I am not good at this game. So I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are uh, as I make moves. People who are good at Civ will probably be face palming all over the place as I go, oh, this seems smart, and I do probably the worst thing I could do in any given situation. So here we go. Let's build a city. Sterling. I like it. Uh, I probably won't change the names of cities all that often. Uh, I know that is an option, and I like to do that sometimes. But uh, for this one, I kind of, like I said, I want to mess with the new stuff, so I'm probably not going to be doing too many goofy customizing things. Um, I almost always start with pottery, because I really like getting that granary early to speed up uh, just growth on my early cities. Um, and it just gets, uh, right after that, I can also get writing, which I think is one of the most important sciences you can get, because, hey, it ups your science level really good. I don't know why that isn't going away because after I spend uh, 
After I spend a settler, that should disappear. No, yeah, maybe we've found a glitch already. Um, I also always, opening play is always a scout. I want someone who can walk around and find shit. Go for these little villages so we can get whatever early game bonuses they give us. I usually like to save them for the scout because they give a big XP bonus to them, but okay. you know what? We're here. Let's have you just keep looking around. If we find any early uh, barbarian camps. So I don't know what victory I'm going to run for with this. Uh, like I said, don't know how long this is going to go. So who knows? We may not get the chance to find a victory. Uh, Scout boy, you head this way. Yo! All right, another village. Awesome. Um... Oh, it's already telling me to build another settler. I guess I could get a second city. Usually I gun, I gun for a second scout, but you know what? Let's let's be crazy. Let's spread the Scots. All right, so everybody's moved. We've done our shit. We have met Bandar Brun Brunei. I'm sure we'll become fast friends, or I'll conquer them. I don't know. And Brussels. All right, good. We're already finding some city states. Those can be uh, really good. Just early game, getting stuff, getting bonuses, make friends with them. That'll pay off. Phoenix Flame, the timing of streams no lately seems to perfectly flame. interrupt me before Never I go to sleep. Sorry this about that. I wasn't tired enough to go to sleep. Didn't feel like playing more fighters. Figured if I was going to play Civ, I might as well stream it. What you got? 26 gold. Not terrific, but whatever. I'm um, probably not going to explore the Tundra too much. I'll get over there eventually, but for right now, I'd rather explore stuff that I might actually be going into. Um, what do we got around us? We got some, we got some elephants and some sheps. So let's go ahead and start learning animal husbandry. Let's marry those animals. And we got some some horsies over that way. Find me a barbarian encampment. I always get nervous when I don't find them within the first couple turns because then I feel like they're waiting, growing somewhere. Probably down here, down in the snow where I don't want to fucking look. Ooh, another village. Holy shit. Yeah. Don't normally get villages this quick. But I'm down. Ooh, what's that? Amber? Is that... That might be new to this, because I don't remember that being a resource before. I haven't really messed with this update uh, all that much. I played for about an hour or two the other day. Uh, so I have a general idea, and I got through, like, the, uh, awesome, getting the Eureka for archery already. So I have the general idea, uh, I've also noticed that Eureka's, uh, the little boosts you get for civics or technologies aren't as big as they used to be. Oh, I didn't realize the scout had a promotion, I should have spent that before ending his turn. Oh, well. That is best. Man is the Doc and Fonzie, hey Grant, I think you're awesome, smart, and probably Separated handsome. Hey, thanks, justice. Doc. I appreciate that. I said that as a joke once, and everybody ran with it, and now it's just a constant ego stroke. I kind of want to go for the production, but I also like getting ahead early on faith and money. But if I build a new... I'm already starting a settler. And that will give me production on a second early city. So you know what? Let's gun with that for now. And I always go with this just because early game barbarians are a pain if they start overrunning you. So having a bonus against them always feels good. Speaking of, asshole, I don't know where you came from. But my scout don't want to fight. So we're going to move this way. And then I'm going to let him move through hills faster. I see me 
All right, we're gonna start on that one. I'm going to work on it until it gets about here-ish. And if I don't have the Eureka for it yet, I'm going to stop it and start doing the other one. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. I love Sean Bean's voice in this. And just his voiceovers are so good. All right, where else do I want to build? Go over there, be by, be by a river. I always like building cities next to river because that gives you access to the um, water mill. That said, I don't want to send this guy out there unprotected, so I'm going to hold off on moving him right away. Uh, let this guy make a loop or get my uh, scout back to him just so he can have a line of defense and isn't instantly grabbed by barbarians if they see him. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What are we looking at here? Um, yeah, we already got the Eureka for you, so I might as well start getting you. Get that granary going. Start expanding towards the ocean instead. Uh, I do like that idea. However, right now, looks like the only stuff by the ocean is all this de like sand and desert stuff. Yeah, desert. I don't like getting early civ like b cities there because it takes forever to grow them. Uh, I really want to get this warrior back over to you so we can have a stronger escort than just the scout, but that might not be an option. So let's get moving you back. I'll get you to get that village later. All right, Scout, you start slowly eking your way out. Make sure we don't see any or settler. Get you out here. Get you closer to where I want you to go, which is here-ish. But I do want to eventually hit the ocean. In fact, that'll probably be my next move, because then that gets the sailing boost. We start being able to sail around, see more stuff. Desert gives you high gold yield? If that's the thing, I actually didn't know. Uh, whenever I see desert stuff, I feel like it's always just nothing. I'm going to move you closer because that, that barbarian scout might be nearby. And I really don't want you taking away my new settler that I just spent a bunch of early turns building. Game, I, I, I've already got city there. You don't have to tell me that's a place I would want to settle. The ocean of sea creatures, it's best to stay away. Hmm. Seems like safe thinking. Oh, okay, I can use the desert to put markets and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Markets are always this thing that, like, I love building because they give me the, uh, the extra trade routes and everything, which I do love abusing. I'm gonna link you guys just in case somehow I accidentally do something stupid. Let's build another scout. That way we can search more. Also, I feel like I'm getting way more production out of this city than I normally do on opening cities. There we go. Let's kill these assholes. Uh, meanwhile, you... I'm going to have you start exploring down here just to make sure my immediate uh, vicinity isn't in danger. Also, boom! New city. <laughs> okay. There's a camp. Great. Uh, let's start building, uh, start getting some culture in there. Meanwhile, you can start building a warrior. And no, I don't want to skip that scout's turn. I want him to start exploring. Just don't deal with that encampment yet. Come at me, fools! We're the Scots. You can take away our lives, but you'll never take our freedom! Get him! Yeah, boy! Get that military tradition. Military tradition. Can't talk today. I was very tempted to do this with no microphone. But now that I'm talking and doing stuff, I'm glad I didn't. May 
the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Yeah. There is a barbarian, which leads me to believe there's probably a camp out here somewhere. Oh, man. They've got a range guy. I don't see me finding a natural wonder soon. That's that's kind of a gamble, so start working on that. Yeah, cities in this game don't defend themselves out of the gate. Uh, Got to build walls for that. Before I move you, I'm going to get you upgrade. Because it looks like you're about to be attacked. Uh, let's go this way. Can't get attacked that way. Oh, wait, did I miss a village? I did. I'm dumb dumb. I'm going to get hit by that slinger, but whatever. Maybe the XP I get from the village will level me up. Why is that... Still here. That should go away. I might actually restart, like, like just turn off and turn the game back on to get rid of that, because that'll annoy me. I'm weird like that. Run, Scout, run! Alright, we're at the point where craftsmanship will automatically be gotten if it, uh... If I get the Eureka for it, which I should be soon, because I'm going to build a builder. And I'm going to upgrade at least three tiles for sure. Woo, we got some faith. All right, I'm going to move you back up here, because I want to start going this way. Find what's over there. are looking bad for my boys, my scouts. Get away! Nothing. I was hoping there'd be a village or something over there. Run away! Oh, no. Alright, scouts usually don't like initiating combat, even the barbarian scouts. They usually only want to steal defenseless things. start a pantheon all right what would most benefit us with where we are uh might be making some pastures because i'm seeing a lot of horses uh and a bunch of sheep got some camps over here and we'd have some mines down here uh quarries for the stone Put this away let me just have a look see what we got here We need to get irrigation so we can start taking advantage of that at some point soon. Um, Worldwide Wimpy, always take Divine Spark. What's that do? Let's see. Divine Spark, plus one great peop great persons from the holy site. Uh, can't. Ooh. Yeah, that does sound good. Good, good. I'm guessing that's like the, the actual strat, the what good players do, because that, that sounds about right. People who want to drop bit, bits, I really appreciate the offer. That's something I have to figure out. I don't, I know being partnered is part of that. I don't know if that's all I got to do, if I can set up some sort of preliminary thing before I get that. But yeah, I do not have the capability to take your bits yet, but I've been a little low on money this month, so I <laughs> would have really appreciated them actually. Uh, but unfortunately, as of right now, do not have the means. Bam. Gimme, gimme. A recon unit? Hell yeah! Let's do some more exploring. Let's explore over up this way. 
Don't worry, this warrior will get over here soon to deal with this problem. Stream more, 500 minutes a month. Okay, I can do that. I could do... If it was something like this, hell, I could do this. Like, I'm not going to say every night. I, I definitely know I want some nights to myself. But, you know, I could, I could do something like this pretty often and not feel too bad about it. All right, um, let's kick off and get us some rice. Yeah, get that irrigation bonus. Boom. Masonry considerable, consider, yeah, considerably. All right, I'm gonna give you hills as well. I feel like I'm not seeing that many forests quite yet. Um, let's start building. Man, this is actually going. We're actually building stuff way faster than I'm used to. I feel like my production. I don't know if this is just a really good production opening place, but I feel like I'm actually getting stuff built faster than I'm used to. Uh, let's get stronger and have. Actually, you know what? I want to have some range. Oh, and I got another warrior. Must have been what I got from that thing. Uh, you should have a greenery. So that you may grow faster. I'm playing on quick speed, uh, for those asking uh, who weren't here when I started. Um, which, I mean, yeah, I do normally play on standard, so this is already going a bit faster than I'm used to. But I know I've played on quick before. I'm going to have him heal up. He's looking pretty hurt. No, oh, it's you guys. I was like, what am I hearing? Come at me! You're climbing a hill! That'll be bad for you, I bet. Yep. Now, you know what? I don't like seeing this guy getting near my worker. I know I'm putting my worker near him, but he can't get there in one turn. Oops, I didn't mean to... Oh, well, that, that's the direction I'd tell him to go anyway. Get rid of this, if we can. Ah, not quite. There we go. I knew it was waiting somewhere. Alright, if you're there. Let's go here. Okay, couldn't remember if that warrior was in, in line. I don't want you to initiate combat, but we'll send you down here to deal with this eventually. Dresden Nova, if we throw cash away at the next Monday stream and label it for Grant, does that get added to you? No, not necessarily. We don't really have a good way to do that. Uh, bits kind of just go in a big old, big old bucket uh, for the group. We don't really have a, a means to divvy them up person to person quite yet. Uh, though I appreciate the sentiment. Where did that one guy go? Running away, are we? Well, if that's the case, then I'll just get that little bit of health back that I lost for fighting you. Is he exhibiting zone of control? If I move over here, will I not be able to also spend my turn to get my... You know what, I'm just gonna take the promotion, and I'll... Uh... Wipe out the camp on my next turn, just to get that health back. Don't want to risk that dude managing to kill me with his slingshot. Now, now, fellas, you don't have to ign ignite the probate signal. I, again, I appreciate the offer, but while I was a little strapped for cash this month, I'm not, like, dying. Story. There's certainly more noble causes than little old me. Yes, now see, I like this thing. This is a, a new thing they've added for this. Uh, 
where even if it's like little stuff, it's just like the danger of doorstep of Haddington had been defeated. The barbarians are driven away in 2500 BC plus three era score. If you get a good era score, uh, you can see that right there. This ring here around uh, my little turn marker uh, is, d is telling me whether or not I'm going to be entering a golden age or a dark age or just a standard age. If you've got the light blue ring, uh, if that's predominantly around here, that means I'm entering just a standard age after these number of turns are up. If it is mostly gold, that means I'll be entering a golden age, uh, which has some bonuses attached to it. And if it's mostly like a dark blue, I'll be entering a dark age. Each age has like its own bonuses attached to it, uh, like what they do. Usually a dark age, if you get it, it kind of sucks during the age. But what you get for getting out of a dark age is a good enough boost to usually get you a golden age shortly thereafter, etc. Ahead and do that. Keep you going north. Got some jungle up there. Uh oh, I hadn't noticed that this dude was knocking on my door. Let's get back over there. Have you go over here? Oh boy! Oh boyo! Oh. Not really much I could do there. I'm just gonna have to take this. And you stay there. I don't want him stealing you. Uh, let's get that figured out. I should probably get writing soon. I want to start working on that. Oh, hey, probate. What's up? Good lord, that scout was surrounded so quick. Oh, he's probably dead. Help me, fellas! Barbarians on all sides. Oh my god. Yeah. He died to the south. There was nothing left of him. Unfortunately, every direction ends that guy's turn. I want to get this elephant, but I'm just gonna. Oop. I'm just gonna build a farm here. Without craftsmanship. There we go. Now I've got the craftsmanship sieve done. Shaken in the wind. All right, let's see. This one will take a little bit longer, but it gets me uh, the ability to establish borders, which I like. All right, we're gonna build a trader and then we're gonna build a holy site. This trader will go here so we can build a road and it will get bonuses building a road between uh, within my own city. Seat. Let's get rid of this guy. Bam. Yeah. We've learned bronze working from murdering that guy. I'm going to send my warrior and archer down this way to take care of this growing threat to the south. Who did what? The Hanging Gardens? You bastards! Oh, well. oh we're got, we got some food problems. I didn't notice that. Oh, but he's right there. Yeah, let's just get rid of that guy right now. What do you see, archer? Our, our archer from Sterling. The Sterling Archer, they call him. Mmm. Mmm. Take a nap. Alright. Let's move up. Check this shit out. Oh, I'm close to leveling up. I can't remember. I don't think these guys get XP just for seeing new places. I think they have to discover shit. 
Uh, it doesn't look like there's much that way to find. Over yonder, what do we got? Should probably start building a third settler at some point here soon. Yeah, get him. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Hey, we met another city-state. Neat. You check out over here. All right. Let's get a little further away from that thing. I guess you keep going this way. Your brother found a bunch of stuff in this direction, but I'm going to start sending him this way. You might start coming back down south just to see the rest of this place. Huh, I don't want you that close to everybody, so let's back you up. We're going to need the whole army here soon, boys. enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. Aye, Sir John Thompson. Um, I'm going to have you start healing just so you can be at full health once we start really taking it to them Barbies. Oh shit, that's right, I forgot natural you were... Hey, natural wonder! It's very remarkable. It seems to be a little world within itself. And now that that's our coin D and D name, I keep forgetting that. I guess I'm referencing myself talking about that. Uh, can I get you in there? Can you still shoot these fools? Yeah, you can. You change cities to Harrington or Haddington. You start healing yourself up. You also start healing yourself up. Also, shit, there's a new barbarian camp over there. Keep mind of that. Let's get some mining. All right, holy sight. Let's go. Ooh, this one gives plus three. Yeah. Worth the money. I keep forgetting I've got money to play with. Let's fucking do that. Because you know what would be nice? Another builder. Six can wolf. Why is everyone streaming right now? I didn't realize other people were streaming right now. My mistake. Guess I'll never stream again. Realized the error of your ways. Alright, I'm gonna send him. Man, I don't like that I'm sending him right in front of that barbarian. Ooh, Brussels gives him just as much work, but a bunch more money. I normally like making the roads between my own cities first, but this might be better just to get the extra gold. Because normally I do it within my own cities just to get the extra production. So let's do that for now. And Mr. Worker, you go ahead. Go over there, you'll make that at some point. Ooh, all right. Run away! Oh, Kieran is streaming right now? Pfft, you can see him stream all the time. When I stream, it's a rare thing. Oh, you've got a level up. That's right, I should have done that. Jesus Christ, those guys figured out where I was. Right, let's get you to also move over hilly terrain, because I've seen a bunch of that. Rain hell on them. Wait, 
Wait, why aren't you... Oh, do you not have moves anymore? Oh, no. Did I just damn that poor guy? Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that. I thought he still had a move. Shit. Okay, no one took him. And this idiot storming the city. Well, I guess if the city falls. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, they pillaged my fucking traitor. It was luxuries like egg. Should have known. Let's go ahead. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You hole up in the city's walls for a little bit. You keep exploring this direction. Away from danger. You're almost fully healed, so I'll start sending you this way, too. Sorry, Brussels. I tried to build a road. Let's start building... Building some walls! Oh, good. The little, you should build a city here thing disappeared. Oh yes, a first governor. Um, I haven't played with these guys too much yet, but I like appointing this guy at my capital first because he is all about boosting science and culture, and I feel like my capital tends to be where a lot of my science and culture comes from. So, early game, he's the dude I like building. Uh, I have no idea if in the future I'll find out that this is a terrible choice, but it's what I tend to do. And by tend to do, I mean it's what I did the first time I messed with these guys. And it seemed like a good call. Please don't kill my one warrior. I just realized how much health, how little health he has. Also, don't kill my archer. Oh, is the money guy the smart one to go for? Burning. The holy site of Sterling brings worshippers and pilgrim pilgrims into the contemplation of the higher matters. Bigger era score. Yeah, see, now that I've got more than half the circle, I'm pretty sure that means I get a golden age. Yeah, you back up. You go this way. You get back in the city proper. Strength versus land units. Get over here. None of the barbarians can reach you fast enough, so you go here. Set up a farm. and build that shrine. Roddy Pilgrim. Okay. Let's keep moving you up this way. Um, I have a feeling this is just the edge, but let's go this way just to see. Ooh, nope, a little bit more. Might loop around here. Destroy him. Start healing yourself up. You're practically full. I know being full is a significant bonus, but whatever. Yeah, I'm getting some early game barbarians, but you know what? I prefer early game barbarians to early game uh, warmongers. That's way more frustrating. Alright. Go ahead and 
get rid of this guy. Yeah. Oh, and there's a village down here. Heal you back up to full. Get you checking out over here. It does loop around. Get you up here. Up here, I mean. And we discovered a new continent. Okay, after this, I'll probably build another settler. Oh, shit. I wanted to buy a trader so I could reestablish this road. whatever bonus this is going to be. Gained experience. Awesome. You build a mine. Up our production. In Paddington, I will buy you a trader. Ooh, I have enough to afford a settler. I don't have enough to afford both, or do I? No. No, my math doesn't check out, does it? Yeah, no. Let's start working on a third city. Let's get let's get to the ocean. Get rid of that camp pretty soon or they'll start coming at you with cavalry. That's uh that's the plan. Just wanted to fill my boys up before I send them to war. Fill up me lads. There be barbarians to hunt. I am a Scottish pirate now. Don't ask a question. Don't, don't, don't question it. That's what I meant to say. Yar. No, oh, I didn't realize you had the upgrade. Oh. Well. To say I practice militant mystic. Sam, thank you for the offer, offer to help switch stuff. Uh, I don't know. My schedule's kind of nebulous at the moment, so I don't know how quickly I'll be jumping on that, but I may ask you for help in the coming weeks. Against ranged attacks. I don't really care about scaling cliff walls at the moment. So I guess, yeah, defend ranged attacks better. Hmm. When they start coming at me with arrows, that guy will be able to stand the volley a bit better. Probably not going to be building a wonder too soon, as far as I know. Unless there's a really good one I can build now. Ah, oh, 25 turns, though. That's a while. Then again, I'm not really doing much else with this. I could build another holy site. I should also really do writing. I hate studying things before I have a clear path to their Eureka, but I am not... Like, I kind of dig this, but there's, like, no one around me. I'm used to running into another sieve by now. There's got to be... There has to be someone right up here. Like, I must just be right out of their range. Like, let's see if there's somebody right behind curtain number fog here. Nope. How about... Yeah. There we go. Is it a USA? Yeah, it is. Hey, Teddy. United States of America. Conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Yeah, I like uh, building the pyramids early. Sure, I'd love to sample your hospitality. Boom! Right, we've got the writing Eureka, so that's what I'll go for after this. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Should I build another settler? Sure, why not? You know what? Sounds just crazy enough to work. I don't have any of the things that you uh, give me a bonus to. Okay, these guys on their first one do give it to just yeah, in the capital. Yeah, it's these ones that start giving them to their their respective zones. Uh, who's close by? Who would it be better to be BFFs with? Let's. Go with Brussels. You're actually no. Let's go with Bandar. 
Action satisfaction. Um, yeah, let's do that whole Brussels trip again. Hopefully this time everybody won't just die on me. While well, Karen doing a fighter's heavy metal thing, that sounds about his his speed. This is definitely a more chillaxed. Don't want to be too loud for my neighbors, so no screaming and ho hooting and hollering. When wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of masonry. Oh, Sean Bean, you you have a golden voice, my friend. Making our way towards this encampment. Yeah. I probably should have rushed science rather than try to wait it out. But man, it just always feels good when I get that bonus to it. Oh, but good old Washington doesn't look like he's figured out how to establish borders yet. The dummy. How quickly I turn on my old sieve. Welcome, Learn to Computer. I'm glad to have you. I hate having to cross a river. Let's make our way around this way first. Meanwhile, you... You stop right here. Check out over here. Oh, hey, what's up? Baltimore. Burning butt cheeks, you're so quick to dismiss science already, Science's saying that it, that I'm dead, sharing. that it's dead for me. It's Look, we're not getting great science gains right now, I hear you, but thoughts, we'll get there. We just ideas, learned how to write. Opinions. Oh, I was hoping to shoot that guy. Oh, hey, what up, fellas? Well, looks like you guys have that barbarian camp under control. All right. <clears throat> oh, I guess I didn't get enough to get a golden age. In a normal age, each of your citizens exerts the normal amount of loyalty, pressure in their city. Pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles. 10% less effective per tile. You may make a dedication, which will provide an additional source of era score during this age. Gain an era score every time you trigger a Eureka, plus one for constructing a building that provides science as a base yield. Not a bad idea. So basically, I have one for science, one for culture, uh, two era score each time you convert a city to your founded religion. Hmm. Uh, since I've only constructed one district, I have a feeling I'm going to be constructing a lot of districts this era. So I think I'm going to go with this one. That said, I do plan on uh, spreading the word of the, the Scottish Lord. Also, why does America already not like me? What's up, guys? What's our... Uh... What you mad about? Hmm. 
I don't see why you don't like me, but I'll send a delegation. What? Teddy? Is this because I made fun of you and said you didn't know how to make borders? Because look, you figured it out. I know it's suggesting over here, but I really want to start exploring the high seas. So I think I might gun for like here. Don't have as much food, but we have these four resources right at the corners. So right here just makes sense to me. So I think I'm going to start moving you this way. I'm real nervous about moving you with nobody to protect you, but time is of the essence, my friend. I don't want to send you in here just to get hurt some more. So you know what? You just start healing for now. Once you've got some archery back up. Barbarians, they're everywhere. Plus three gets rid of forest, but F it. Grant, would you play a Civ game, but it's in a fantasy setting with different races and such? Yeah, uh, actually. In Civ 5, I used to have a bunch of mods uh, for stuff like different Lord of the Rings and, like, fantasy fictional civilizations, and I really loved their interplay with actual people. Alright, now we move in for the kill. You move in for this kill. You go ahead and shoot this dude. And boom, like that, the b Southern Barbarian camp seems to be dealt with. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking right here. So I'm going to tell him to just go this way. Hope we don't see anything bad until then. I feel like most of the barbarians that were in that neck of the woods started gunning for me anyway, so. Uh, whoop. Alright, you got dudes there? I won't bother you. Wow, Teddy, you got a lot of units. Uh, <laughs> good thing there's a good thousand miles between us, it looks like. You're welcome, Teddy. Doing my best. Bronze is the mirror of the four. Oops, didn't mean to skip that. Oh shit, another camp right over there. Also, there's iron over here. Shit, I probably should have started building in that direction. Because I could really use some sword dudes. over this way. Oh, that's right. There might have been barbarians this way. That's why I started going that direction. Oh, well. Also, 
Teddy's got more cities than me. But soon I'll have that other guy. Yep, Teddy's carrying that big stick of his. As history has shown us, he likes to do. Oh, good. There's iron right next to Sterling. Let's go ahead and buy that tile. Scoop it up before anything happens to it. And you know what? We got the money. Let's do some more building. You got another settler? Teddy, you're getting a little ha land hungry, man. Just like America. There's New Orleans. My buddy Brussels. Doing work. One thing they haven't added to this game yet that Civ 5 had that I really didn't play with all that much, but the more I play, the kind of wish I. The, Kind of more I wish I did, but uh, was I want to say it was Venice, where he basically played as a city state. Which seems like a fun idea. I don't know, like, I never messed with it because I was honestly too intimidated to try and learn it, but now that I've played this a bunch of hours, I kind of wish I had that option. Hey, Armach! Finally a religious city-state, so I can probably start getting bonuses with them to up my faith output. Alright, I want to get that iron. Keep going up this side of America. The American deserts! What did Teddy build? The Temple of Artemis. Aw, oh, man, that's a good one. That said, I didn't really have a means to do it, so. Keenan Eldari, got a dog to walk. How long are you going to stream for, Grant? I don't know. Uh, I'm not feeling too tired yet, so I would say probably at least another hour. Like, that's bare minimum, I would say. A stage. All the men and women I slept in pretty late today, but I've had... A long day, so I am like tired, but not like sleepy tired. I had a bunch of problems with my phone today, so I had to keep going and getting my phone worked on. Built a campus. Plus three era score. Right. I want you in here to heal for a little bit. Same with you. Oops. I guess we're going up here. The archer can solo this guy for a little bit. He'll have to cross a river to get to me. Ha ha! What even time is it in Yankee land? Well, you can see right up here is my local time. So you know how late it is for me right now. What a grand sight this must present in the wet season. Waterfalls in every direction. The Illyria. Is it? Ooh, that's pretty close to America. They're probably gunning for that. The bastards. Oh, yeah. Take one turn to finish that civ up? Sure. Civic. The Oracle. That gives me a free civic, right? Yo, I'm not going to build shit over here. Let's do it. And yeah, it looks like my settler's gonna make it there, no problem. Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. That's a pretty good phrase, I like that. I'm gonna keep exploring. Keep to the keep to the coastline. Yeah. 
yeah. Two Eurekas. Love it. Still need to found a religion. Speaking of, let's build another holy site. Sure. And hey, now you're already in town, so go ahead and start healing. All right. Well, let's... Let's start expanding just up this direction. I like the sound of that. I wrote her 87. Wow, you TFS guys need to learn to get some sleep. Don't burn out on us. Uh, we don't typically start our workday at the office until noon. So that affords us, most of us, the time to stay up plenty late. Boom. Ab Aberdeen. I know it's a Scottish city, but it sounds real southern to me. Welcome to Aberdeen. We got all your... Your ocean needs right around, right, right around here, y'all. Got some fishies and a little bit of crabs down there, down south. Ooh wee! Don't think about it too much. Um, all right. That stupidness aside, uh, let's get you fed and give you a granary, and also, oh, I've only got. Wow, I've been spending too much gold lately. I've only got 99 left. I guess we're not gonna just buy you a builder. I guess we'll send this guy over. He doesn't really... I kind of want to get those elephants, but... Actually, I think those elephants will give us gold if I get them, so you know what? Maybe I'll do that. wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Yeah. They dispute when the start of the, act the classical era, but you know it was when Scotland discovered currency. I mean, that does sound like a big deal. What does getting an encampment here do? Not gonna tell me? Right, I'm pretty sure that gives me gold, and I do want that, but I also want to get this place off the ground. <gasps> if I build here... What's the advantage of building here versus there? Here, I get probably quicker access to horses, because I think... Well, no, this probably isn't too far out for here to get. It's just it'll be quicker. If I build over here, I'll be next to a river, which, like I said, I like doing. Gives me a food bonus, and I get that water mill. Plus, I'll, like, instantly get this cotton. Uh, and I'll be pretty close to two milk sources. So, yeah, you know what? I was thinking here, but let's go here. Let's get you there. Oh, hey, what's up, U.S.? Don't worry. Just a settler. Nothing special. Shit, this barbarian camp's at a real annoying place to try and snipe. Sai Benny, I don't know what we've been spending all this time if we just now discover currency. Oh, great. There's a mountain range here blocking me from doing anything. Terrific. <gasps> Religion time, boys! Alright. Boom! Alright. First off, what's our religious symbol gonna be? Can't be any of the established religions, because then I can't name it. So, starting from crab, we get crab to turtle. What are we, what are we feeling, chat? Uh, while I refill my water, I'll let you guys decide. Uh, just so you know your choices, we've got a crab, cow, elephant, peacock, water, wheat, snake, scorpion, two fishies, a lion, a uh, butterfly, and tortoise.
Delicious H2O. All right, chat. Let me see what we got. I'm just going to glance down at my phone, and the first call out I see is who is deciding. So get all your votes in now. Not looking yet. Got three, two, one. First one I see looking now. Lion from Choctaw 55. Congrats. All right. <laughs> no one else also needs H2O turtles. Uh, sorry, guys, but Choctaw has spoken. It's time for the lion. So, all right. So, what What do the Scots... What's the Scots... Uh, what's their religion? What do we call it? The circle of life, says Big Spaghetti Star. I'm not, not too opposed to that. Call it Rides a Turtle. Name it Turtle. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Uh... I saw so much support for Turtle that I feel bad. Uh, we will be the Turtles in time. We, we worship, we are, we are the great and mighty lion that roars about the story of the Turtles. Also, someone's found a Catholicism already. All right. <clears throat> what do we got here? Shrines and stuff provide food. Eh. May purchase campus and theater square districts with faith. That will always be useful. Better production for everyone following the religion. Seems like in the future we're going to be able to get amenities out the ass. And that's normally what I go for. But... Seems like amenities aren't going to be a problem for us eventually. Housing can sometimes get annoying, but I feel like we're not having that issue yet. Yeah, the lion turtles from Avatar. I like the idea. Um, provide culture equal to their intrinsic faith output. That might be good. That might be what we go with. I do also like being able to purchase stuff like that with faith. Hmm. Mm. What do you think? Jesuit education or choral music? What sounds more the lion that worships the turtles in time? You know what? I I'm seeing us producing a lot of culture in the future. We might go with we might go with the music. All right, <clears throat> music it is. Uh, I like the meeting house because with faith we can build something that gives us production. If that makes sense. And then eventually getting the upgrades down the road that let us do more stuff. Uh. I do like just the passives stuff spreads faster. The lion serenades the turtle. Yes, accurate. All right, I think we're going to go with meeting house. Yes. We shall found the turtles in time. Turtles in Time is the true path of salvation. Please ignore all those other ones. Perfect. Vessels large may venture more. But little boats should keep near shore. Thanks, Ben Frank. Um, all right, I wanted you over here for what? To get those horses? Yes, I think I wanted to start working on Aberdeen. 
Are you having food problems or anything at the moment? No, but you do have like no amenities. But I guess we can deal with that later. Yes, give me the wheel! Spin the wheel. Make a deal. Alright, let's get rid of this camp er, encampment over here. Let's also get rid of that encampment over there! So you start heading this way. Oh, hey, what's up? You're going to start attacking me directly. That's probably going to hurt. That might have been a bad choice right there. Aslan is definitely the god of this religion, Choctaw. He's not a safe lion, but we know he's a good lion. A strong economy begins with a strong... Well educated workforce. Hi, Bill. Yo, did that guy just leave the encampment? This might be signing this archer's death warrant, but BAP! you start heading this direction. Uh, I want us to get temples so we can get uh, the other dudes. Alright. Uh, you're the money lady, right? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to appoint you to Haddington. Because that's the one that has a trade route right now. Boom! Air! How am I supposed to breathe with no air? Bet if I can I gonna buy this and then once I finish the Oracle start work on the pyramids. Oh shit, since America established borders I can't walk through them. Do you still hate me? How about I send a delegation? Yeah. Alright, and uh, now Declare a surprise war no. Um deal. There you go. You're barely coming through our neck of the woods anyway. Ear Tour 87, is this going to be in your archive? Got D&D &D game starting in three minutes. Um, I probably... I'll, I will probably put an archive up of this... Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and edit this down to more crucial bits in the future or if I'm just going to have the whole the whole thing. Uh, it's more work for me to edit it down, so that makes me honestly less likely to do it at all. So I'll probably just put the whole thing up, but at some point I do actually want to start putting work on the stuff I put on YouTube because I feel like just the straight archives sometimes people don't really care about. Yes, more era score. Thank you. Uh oh. Unmet, unmet city state has been defeated. Someone's out there killing city states. Mm. 
Back, your fiends! Sometimes the wheel turns slowly. Mm -hmm. Just leave it as is, I'm seeing people say. All right, I, I can do that. No skin off my nose. Aberdeen is probably going to be start where I'm producing units, because I really want those horse horses. Uh, the Scots like to horse around. And hey, we're already reaching the northern tip of the, the map here. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's right there. So this is as far north-south as we go. Not too big. Not too bad. We can conquer this for a bit. Uh, speaking of horses... Where be the foot? Surely they are behind this city-state demolition. Well, if Shredder's doing his job, they'll be underground and difficult to find. I just keep reading this as Armaga. Oh just someone saying, oh my god, but in a very under duress way. Carnager Rex 98. So Grant, other than the sketchy ETA, what do you think about the KH3 trailer? Uh, I like the new theme song quite a bit. Uh, I like its chill vibe. Um, you know, it's not quite as, uh, and I, and I don't know if there's going to be like an up-tempo, more techno-y beat, uh, like the Simple and Clean uh, had. Go away so I can keep exploring this area, dude. Um, I thought that, like, I mean, I, I liked the, the, the plot stuff that we got in that trailer, seeing Marluxia again. Like, that's, that's cool. Uh, Vanitas, it was nice seeing him again. Uh, really liked the orchestral uh, version of, I want to say it was the Birth by Sleep uh, trailer reveal theme, whatever that was. No hour of life is wasted um, that is spent in the saddle. We I'm real excited to play it, but like I said, uh, I've been will. burned enough times by Squeenix that I'm not going to, you know, jump up and start clapping and saying like, oh, they're going to announce a, 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 a release date at E3! Because until that game is out, I... I feel safer just not believing anything they say. <laughs> Let's get your farm working. Wolver102, being honest, do you think we'll get any Star Wars or Marvel? Um, I don't think we will get entire worlds dedicated to them, even though I think they deserve it. I do think we will see something of them, even if it's like just some like summons, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just brief character appearances, a la like uh, you know Squall, like the Final Fantasy characters and stuff. How they just sort of pop up. They don't really have a whole world. Um, I should check. Not that. Not that either. I should change what civics I have. Did I X out? Oh, there we go. Government. Change policies. I have fewer policies slots than I thought. So you know what? I'm going to wait for this civic to finish because it gives me the extra slots. village has no means to get fresh water. You're right, Wimpy. I'll have to figure that out. Ok. 
Hey, village. Farewell, builder. Who went to war? Stockholm has declared war on Kabul. Teddy Roosevelt has declared war on Kabul. What are you doing, Ted? They're a city state. I, like, I mean, I don't play this game. Well, I do play this game a ton. I don't play this game intelligently a ton. But for me, it's always weird when I see civs attacking city states. Because I feel like their benefit, uh, their long game benefit of keeping them alive, I feel like outweighs killing them. So I never really understand why people go to war with city states. I understand when you're going to war with someone and they are allied with city states. So that ends up, you know, getting those city states killed. Also, those guys took care of the barbarian problem for me. Thanks. Start a commercial hub right here. Unmet city state has been defeated. Someone's out there sniping city states. Good thing I can go for a war of liberation and set them all free. Which is if Teddy, if he, if he takes over Kabul, he's gonna, he's gonna have me knocking on his door. Because liberating fools is what I'm all about, biatch. Pretty sure that's what... What's my dude's name? Something of Bruce. Robert the Bruce. Pretty sure that's a direct quote from him in the history books. Cage three. While I wasn't looking for much with Monsters Inc., I would have preferred something other than the a Lord cat man. Of iron. I, I like Sora's look in the in the Monsters Inc. world. It, it looks unique, uh, and I, I I don't think it looks like I. They all looked weirdly low poly to me, um, which like I understand it's a game in development, so you know stuff like that happens. But I felt like this. Uh, trailer in particular looked like less polished than previous trailers by a fairly wide margin. Um, what do I want to do? Let's have you continue to Go to Aberdeen, or Aberdeen, uh, Aberdeen, just to build a road that way. We're not going to improve two sea resources, seahorses. All right, now that we've got this, let's go with. I like the oligarchy. Uh, I like it's spread out. It's just well balanced. Um, I always go for the two influ influence points per turn because uh, that just keeps adding up like this one's better for getting directly with stuff but this just keeps going over time um and while we're at it let's do we have anything for wonders, because I'm going to start building those pyramids as soon as I can. Because the oracle is almost done. 
All right, I sent you here to deal with some some Barbies, but they're already gone. So I guess just hang out for a sec. We got you over here to look at these squares. So I guess you can start heading home. Maybe by the time you get there, you'll be able to sail on your own. I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin. Pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also, the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. Boom. And now, start building the pyramids. And in seven turns, they'll be done. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. square to get that extra bit of stuff revealed on the map and you can start heading back home Should probably build another settler here soon. Start spreading more towns. Give me more excuses to build more faith in science. Because right now my science output is looking pretty dire. But you know what? You can boost that one science I got. Thank you, Stockholm. I hear good things about your syndrome. Woo, Kabul! I'm rooting for you in this. In fact, I'll try to put my uh, scout guy in a place that is really inconvenient for Teddy. I don't think there's a way for me to look at that spot on the map. Stockholm has made peace with Kabul because they're my friends now. Deal with it, Teddy. Now, Phalanite, the turtles in time, being time-traveling turtles that they are, understand that science and religion can work hand, can work hand in hand. We are not opposing forces. We are merely different sides of a somewhat similar-looking coin. Don't you worry. I'll be giving America a taste of Aslan yet. Once the pyramids are done, I'll start construction on our temple. And once this thing's done, I'll have... Uh, no, I think I have to and build the I first, like the market thing or whatever it is first. Also, I keep instinctively... Skipping Sean Bean's dialogue. I need to stop doing that. Because normally I play this with the audio off, so I don't really get to hear his dulcet tones. The water mill will be done soon enough. Then again, I'll never have two galleys. And it allows all land units to embark? Hell yeah. Listen to those bagpipes, bagpipes blare. That's how you know the Scots are coming. Stockholm has declared war on Kabul. What, are we not best friends anymore? Great person. Yes. Present us with great science, you great scientist.
Yeah, give me a free library, sure. That's what I was going to be building after my temple, but I'll take it. Where's the government plaza do? That's new. Placed once in your empire to commemorate your government's cho your government choices. Uh, provides plus eight loyalty per t turn to this city and an increase of plus one to the adjacency bonus is being earned by any adjacent district. Awards one govern governor title. Okay. So I want to place that between districts. So that's impossible there. You're just a mine. That's... I'd have to put it over the green thing if I wanted to put it there to get the... To maximize whatever bonuses I'm getting out of it, anyway. That might be one that goes in Aberdeen. Um, for now... Let's go ahead and build you... We haven't got theater squares yet. I know no one's saying to build those. Because our culture output's looking alright. But, I feel like doing that. So let's go. Darn, the only one that gets any bonus is on that wheat field. The wheat adds such a good growth bonus. Although, I guess we've got these marshes to play with. This place is not wanting for food. Stay on the lookout, as a good archer does. Karen's getting there. Lanny's a tentative maybe, but what about you? Are you looking into Monster Hunter Grant? Uh, I am thinking about it. It's not really on my uh, on my short list at the moment, uh, but it is something I do plan on getting eventually. Like the stuff I've seen for it seems really interesting. It would be really fun to do group hunts with people. Um, it's just right now kind of way more focused on fighters. And if I didn't have that, I'd honestly be playing this a bunch more. So I'm kind of already, uh, packed on my, on my gaming quota. And I really want to play the Shadow of the Colossus remake because I've actually never played that game and, uh, been hearing real good stuff about the remake. I've lived through some terrible things in my life. Some of which actually happened. Oh, Mark Twain. District adjacency bonus is doubled. Governors provide plus two loyalty per turn in their city. I haven't gotten far enough since this update came out. Excuse me, to really know uh, like how important the loyalty stuff is. Like I know that th that it adds a lot as far as uh, like you can make other cities unloyal to their owners and. That can also happen to you, uh, and they'll rebel. So I don't know how much that's going to start playing in here, because I haven't been really paying too much attention to it. Alright, instead of adding a new guy, let's promote one of the ones we got. How about you? We don't quite have any theater buildings in the capital yet, so we'll go ahead and give you that. Can I give you two? Let's... Oh, okay, it's the promotion has been assigned. What could I have given you? Hmm, okay. I missed not too much. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to try Monster Hunter. I'm just not like in a hurry to do it. Uh, it looks real good. I, I, I'm 
I want to try it. It sounds like it's the uh, best Monster Hunter for a guy like me yet, as in someone who hasn't played a Monster Hunter. Oh, there's a place up there. Hold on. Let's get in good with good old Bandar Brunei and uh, fuck up that place. Actually, no. I'm going to look out off that coast. Show me the pyramids! From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. You kind of got to feel bad for the slaves that built the pyramids. Not just because they were slaves and had terrible living conditions, but assuming when they are building the pyramids, all they're thinking is like, you know what? This sucks, but someday man will marvel at what we've created and they will remember us for what we did. And here we are thousands of years go later going, we're not really sure who built these. Like, uh, like it's kind of a mystery. Who could have, like, we don't think people were smart enough to build these back then, so it probably wasn't them. And like, <laughs> It's just like, they can't catch a break. Not even thousands of years later. Yeah, let's build a swordsman! Before, Iron was merely a curiosity for scholars. Now our swordsman wields it as a weapon for the first time in the world! Wait, it says it's right within my moving range, so I'm guessing there's, yeah, units in there. Sunset lover, Peperita. Uh, isn't the consensus that the pyramids were mostly built by professional instead of slaves? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a historian. Just I feel like the, uh, the running theory before was that it was all slave labor. And then it started being like, well, the engineering it would have taken to do this is hella something. So did, like, friggin' aliens drop down to give us this kind of information? Yeah, also Basil the Lovable, and some of them are still buried under the sand. Yeah, they probably built those things just being like, no one will ever not look at these. Now they're just way underground. Exactly, Mr. John Carlton. If by professionals you mean aliens. Oh, those guys already get rid of that encampment there? I wish, like, when you were looking at the map zoomed out, uh, barbarian camps were, like, lit up. Because it'd be really nice to just, at a glance, be like, alright, there's a problem area, there's a problem area, there's a problem area. Because right now, like, I have to, like, zoom in and be like, is that a camp or is that, like, trees? Right there. You're still around, but you're far away enough, and you've got enough of a buffer with, with Washington and Kabul that you probably won't bother me so much. I thought there was a camp, like, here, but I guess those guys took it out. Good on you, fellas. And now, now my builders have more turns! Boom, more sword sorties. Oh, that's the American guy. I was like, what are you doing out in the water? I don't remember telling you to go there. Hey. 
Hey, I got the number of points I needed for a golden age. Oh, okay. I was wrong. I thought this was the number of turns to till the next age. That's the number of points I needed to get a golden age. So hey, next age. So far, so long as nothing tragic happens, I should be in line to have a golden age next era. There is nothing but a plank between a sailor and eternity. Base the level. Hey, Grant, while I was at work, someone hit my car in the parking lot. How was your day? Well, it sounds like it was better than yours. That life, said, I was really annoyed because I had to second. run back and forth at a T-Mobile store. Uh, okay, first I'm going to explain this story more. Because, uh, full disclosure, my annoyance, my suffering and annoyance is primarily my fault. Uh, but my phone, a few weeks ago, started acting up. Um, and... Uh, got caught in like this boot loop that's apparently a common problem with the phone I had, the Nexus 5X. Um, so I tried to fix it on my own, didn't really want to spend the money to have it repaired, and I knew it was, uh, my parents bought it for me, so I'd have to go, I'd have to send it to the store in Ohio that they bought it from in order for T-Mobile to do anything about it. Uh... And so since I didn't want to go through the rigmarole of that, I was like, well, you know what? Uh, for now, while I'm kind of short on money, I'm just going to get a... Whoops, didn't mean to move in there. Uh, I'm going to get a prepay phone uh, just to have for the next few weeks. Uh, and then after that, I can get this fixed properly. So I, hit it, I did that. I've had this kind of crummy prepay phone for the last few weeks. Uh, but finally, this, this weekend, I was like, all right, I'm going to actually figure out this phone thing, get this fixed and be done with it, uh, which my mom messages me and goes, hey, uh, like, I'm, I'm on their family plan, and she's like, you can, you should be able to just move your SIM card to a different phone and keep your phone number and everything, so you don't at least have to deal with that, uh, which sounded good to me, so I was like, all right, I will pop my phone, my SIM card into this prepay phone that I have, prepay phone went, uh, SIM card's invalid, uh, can't use it, which makes sense, looked for a way to try and, uh, unlock that phone so it could use stuff from uh so it could have used my t-mobile thing since that was a boost mobile thing looked like there was no way to do it online that i could find so i was like all right i will just go ahead and see if i can get one of those t-mobile prepay phones uh that i saw at walmart when i was there did that uh came home promptly found on the box this big old warning that i didn't see that was like this will only work with our prepay track phone service uh buying this is you opting into using that service with this phone so i had to drive back to walmart which was about a you know which is about a 15 minute drive uh to get that returned did that uh dropped it off and just said screw it there's a t-mobile store just like five minutes away from my apartment i'll go there see what i can do uh talk to the dude there the i didn't have my phone on me so i couldn't directly show him what i was talking about but like tried to explain how my phone was caught in this boot loop and wouldn't do anything i couldn't get it to start up at all uh so had to explain that like three or four times to the guys there because they kept going like well why don't you just transfer from your old phone I'm like I, it doesn't turn on <laughs> that's that's the problem and uh after talking with them a bunch and feeling like i was getting nowhere uh, finally just went, hey, all right, fine. I just want to finance a new phone. Please just tell me what's, what are phones I can buy? What are, what are payment plans I can get on them? Got an LG G6, which seems pretty good. Got a good financing option on it. Uh, I'll be paying for it for the next like year or so, but in smaller chunks and Create fairly easy, dige easily digested Build. on my income. But yeah, just felt like a lot of running around being like, will this phone work? No, damn it get a different one this one doesn't work the way i want it to either damn it fine let's just go and buy an actual phone so my day was kind of long but not as bad as getting someone to hit my car while i was at work and again like i said a lot of the pain was self-inflicted because 
Had I paid more to, more attention, I would have known that my just popping my old SIM card into a new phone wouldn't do what I was hoping it would. Well, I've got all these dudes ready to fight, but after... Oh, wait, there's a barbarian camp. All right. <laughs> Weirdly excited at the prospect of having a reason to have these sword, sword guys. Oops, I didn't realize you had, you had more moves. There we go. Exactly. Might have been bad, but now you get to relax and spread the good word of Aslan and his time turtles. That's Those correct. Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. Good. Those guys will be getting there in roughly the same amount of turns. Let's get you there. Woo. We've got this one little square we haven't looked at yet, so I'll let this guy have the honor. Start up in our culture, baby. And once this thing's built, I think I'll have an option for another trade route. I wish you could cross ocean panels, my dude. That said, is 200 gold enough to afford a galley? Our first sailing voyage, 200, 120 BC. We were a little late to the ocean. And even then, we're not hitting the high seas. We're just kind of going around. I need one of those, the Galapagos Islands. I want to have the Scottish Galapagos Islands. All right, that's my, that's, let's call that my short-term goal. And by short-term, I mean, let's say, by the end of this stream. Let's see if I can build a city up in this region to hopefully guarantee that I get the Galapagos. Which I'm not sure if I want to go this route because there's a lot of sand right there. And that's usually not very good. Instead, just kind of build straight between Brussels and Bandar uh, and get a city set up right there. So, it's like, if I got a city here and then get another city here, and then we'd have it. Does that sound, sound like a good goal? Get get to the Galapagos? The Scottish, the Scottish Galps, we call them. Welcome to the stream, TTA Gamer. What's up? There's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Thank you, Shunkutala. Yeah, and that's where short water ends, right? I can't... Or shallow water. Can't go much further out than that. I should probably have you on land just so you can walk more. Yeah. This is, I'm giving you the slowest way to move as possible. Okay, let's build some walls.
The rulers of Armagh bow to Scotland, Scotland, who has become the first, their first Suzerian in the world. Su Su Suzerian? Suzerian? I don't know how you pronounce that word properly. To get the Scottish Galapagos, you must first get the Scottish Darwin. That's a good point. Oops. Up this way. What are we looking at here? More mountains? Hills. I know every civilization has its own like soundtrack and specific music, but I think this song that is playing right now is in every civ. Because I've definitely heard this before. I think when the bagpipes kick in, that's specifically Scotland. Uh, and a couple other tracks that I've heard so far aren't familiar. Do we have... Oh, wait. Monastery? I don't even know what those are. Those might be new, because I don't, I don't remember those. And I don't remember saying that this would be a religion that could form monasteries. I thought that was something else. I thought that was something I had to specifically spec towards. Go, my knights. Travel down towards that barbarian camp. They won't know what hit them. Well, they will. They'll know their swords. <laughs> Suzerain lost. Armad, no. I. Air near needs more housing. All right. Yeah, I should probably start building stuff up there. Also, holy cow, we're starting to lose money. We need to establish more trade routes. You need to finish that market. See, like this song that's playing now, I don't think I would hear that if I was playing as, say, the Zulu. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. I'm just gonna kind of have this scout following this boat, so when they encounter a place that, like, I could reach via shallow water with land, like land I could reach via shallow water, I can send him over there to look for it, look at it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Have a city grow to ten, pop. I will not be killing a unit with a quadramine at any point. You might hit 10 population at some point, especially if I start actually adding to your food storages. Harbor! Become a bigger money state. This is definitely gonna be, maybe I should send the money lady over here because this is starting to look like it's gonna be my money place. Speaking of, Yeah, I do think I'm going to reassign her there. But, do we want to get someone else? I have a feeling you're a religious guy. Yep. What do you do? You're a food man. Oh, and production, okay. Hmm. Maybe you'd be good in air. You're my, like, battle man. I know I used you the one game I played a little bit of. But yeah, 
yeah. None of your stuff seems super useful at the moment. You're our diplomat, so I can, I think, make loyalty. Yeah. Plus two loyalty per turn towards your civilization. So you're good for people who are, like, on the edge. Like, if I build that city between those two city-states, she's going to be assigned there. Uh, and I guess you're for exploration? Government plaza buildings. Can be built in the city on coastal plots. Uh, yields more food adjacent to a sea resource. Okay. Uh, am I going to promote you again? This doubles great people points. That seems pretty nice. Especially since my religion is already doing that. Yeah, I actually really like the sound of that. I'll get more of you guys later. Can you change the names of the governors? I don't think so. I think you are always with these guys. That said, I'm not sure. Okay, elephants do give you gold. Thought they did. I knew they were holding out their gold, those elephants. Dumbo's mother's been packing it away for years. See that coral reef there? Or reef. I don't know. I've always heard it. I've always heard of the coral reef. I guess there is just reef. Yes, my boys, it's time to attack. Yeah, I wish you could name them too. The governors, that is. For those of you watching the archive on YouTube.com and can't see the chat, that's what I'm referring to. People are sad that, that I can't rename the governors. The gubernators. Hmm, I guess not. Alright, we've established some more trade routes. Kabul will also give us work and... That stretches a road even farther. Let's do it! Also, we can now have more trade routes. So we're going to. Uh, one of those things was build six farms, right? I could throw another one of those. And build more builders. And build more farms. So let's do it. Oh, is this going to end in one fell swoop? That'd be awesome if it did. Ah, so close. <laughs> Alright, I guess you weren't needed, other sword man. You can start heading home. Are there any more encampments nearby that I should worry about? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, I've got a bunch of faith building. Well, I should be spending believe that. that. Oh, shit, didn't mean to skip that. My bad. Sorry, Sean Bean. You put in a ton of work voicing all of those lines. I should listen to them. Own three archers. I've got one. Which of these will... That will help. Alright, Sterling has the guy who ups theater and science, so I should be doing that.
first thing, always build apostles so you can up how your religion works. Are you the only Civ in this game? No. Uh, me and America share this continent. They're still pretty far away. Uh, I have this on the standard, the Prince difficulty. Um, it's the difficulty I normally play on because upping it to King, at least before this update, always made it feel, feel like immediately harsh because uh, guys were just mad at you out of the gate like other civs, and I did not appreciate that. More great scientists. All right, man. Thought we'd have more land to explore over there, but I guess not. The Scottish Galapagos are in sight. Yes, but I need to, like I said, I need to claim them. That's, that's the important thing. So we're going to need to build some more cities. In fact, I should probably start working on that soon. What do you do? One random technology. Wounded units can heal five HP each turn. So, just like in general? Just a little bit more looked at over here. Evangelize a new belief. Alright, what else would our time-traveling, turtus-worshipping lions do? Plus culture for every five followers in this religion and other civilizations? Not bad, since I plan on spreading that word. Or would they be more about getting that money, honey? Campus or commercial hub, districts, and city following this religion add plus one science, plus one gold, respectively. That's not that great. Add an envoy every time this uh, is given to a city-state. That's not bad. Religion's pressure never drops due to losses in combat. That doesn't sound bad. They sing. All right. Are there any of these that sound like music? Not seeing a lot for music. So what else do we got? They roar. That might work. Intenerent preachers. Preachers being loud so our religion spreads farther away. Oh, you're right, Carnage. Or Carnage Rex. It is a brilliant scientist. Not a great scientist. My mistake. Scripture. Spread from adjacent city pressure is 25% stronger, boosted to 50% once printing is researched. Yeah, I like having religious texts. Yes, fully loyal to the Scots. And with 129, do we have enough for missionaries? Get in position, boys. We're spreading the word. Yeah, scripture is a very good perk. Uh, it's actually the one I tend to go for, so... Not really playing out of my comfort zone I'm saying that. Boom! Let's get a golden age, motherfuckers! Look at that. The colors jumped up. Look how, look how much more vibrant everything is, because it's a golden age. Golden age. Each of your citizens exerts 1.5 loyalty pressure in their city. Pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles, but it's 10% less effective per tile. Uh, get a dedication. What do we got? Eureka's providing an additional 10% uh, to each thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Plus two movement, all builders uh, may purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are 30% cheaper to produce with faith and gold. That sounds pretty nice. Uh, 
Plus two movement for all missionaries, apostles, and inquisitors. Additionally, newly trained ones get two charges. Uh, plus four great profit points per turn. Well, great profit points don't really matter now that we've got now that we've established a religion, as far as I know. Um, both of these don't seem like that big of a deal. This seems pretty good. I like the missionaries and apostles getting more movement and uses. But I might go with this one. Because builders getting to move more. And cheaper purchases of settlers and builders sounds good. What do we want to have here? Gonna at least build a monument. So start producing at least something. Ooh. I see it looks like water kind of loops around there. Maybe we'll find something. Oh. Can just go there. Man, everything looks so bright now. sure who wanted to pick. Alright, buddy. Let's start uh, converting our cities. <laughs> Stockholm wants trade route. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. Mm -hmm. What policies do we have? I haven't looked at these in a while. We're not building wonders that much anymore, so that can be changed. We're going to be building settlers soon. We haven't had to deal with barbarians for a while, so let's just make our army less expensive. units can't go into, well, and neither can my ships go into the deep ocean yet, so. A trader. So we can send Stockholm a trade unit. You know what? Fuck you, Teddy. I'm going to be the students of reign of them at some point. Mark my words. Maybe not today, but soon. That's right, Carnager. It's bright because of Aslan's golden light on high. Ah, oh, jeez. Kabul, you got a lot of dudes. I mean, guess it's not a bad bad thing. I want you guys to be able to defend yourself from Teddy the Teddy the Terrible. Terrible Teddy. As history will know him. Alright, and Boom! You are now one with the lion. His glorious light shines on all of us. I do kind of miss the simple golden ages from Civ 5, where it's just like, hey, if you enter a golden age, everything you do friggin' twice as good. All your golden production value, just double it. Not much to deal with on your end, you just know your shit's good, because you're in a golden age, baby.
What do you see, ship? What's out there? In the deep blue. Oh? That looks like light, as if it could be near land. If we were that close to another continent, that would be hilarious. <gasps> we can build the Great Library. Hold on. First we build the settlers, so we can claim Galapagos. Then the Great Library. I don't think it's as good in this game as it was in the last one. I feel like in the last one, if you didn't build the Great Library, like, you were practically boned the whole game, because that free tech early on is so good. Bonk. That's what we say when we convert you. We bonk you. You just got bonked. Man, I never set out to do religious victories in these oh, games, but I'm already no building up. I feel apprentice. like I'm already getting a stronghold on Lights religion at the beginning. Are exact. The actual start of the medieval era, but you know it's when Scotland discovered apprenticeship. Alright, some of those don't work quite as well as others. Any more barbarian camps nearby? Not in my circles. What's housing looking like here? You've got plenty of housing. Why should I get an aqueduct? Doesn't seem like it's necessary right now. But you know what I do want? I want to start building walls. It might not be America, but we can build walls like them. You just hold up here. All right, who was it that wanted something? So those guys way up there, right? So we might need to send you to air, so that's so the starting point can be further up, and then we can reach Stockholm. That's who wanted it. We'll convert all of our own cities, uh, and then probably get an apostle to do another reformation on our religion, and then start spreading it north to those unsanctified Americans. I wonder if I just keep getting, like, era points. Like, I'm sure this is balanced, so I can't easily do this. But if I just keep getting era points, could I just keep getting golden ages? Okay, we can't make it all the way to Stockholm, but we can make it to Chicago. And if Air becomes loyal to the lion, uh, it shall also start sending, spreading that religion up that way. And at the moment, America doesn't look like it's got a founded religion. It's got a pantheon, desert folklore. That means he's probably producing a bunch of faith in those cities that have a lot of desert tiles. But you know what? I'm ready to stand up to that. Oh, you need to do things. That's why.
The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Thanks, Reagan. We're on our way to a second temple, right? No, you're building a wall. How long would it take for you to build a temple? Six turns. Here, we'll study feudalism first. I can't build a city between them. They're too close. Damn. I don't want there to be that big of a gap between my cities. The Scottish Galapagos. This dream will not fail. We will make this work. Uh, I guess if we build it, like, right there. <laughs> then we're knocking, like, on America's friggin' door. But you know what? I'm ready to I'm ready to make that gamble. Let's let's f and go. Um, I don't want to build it right on top of a luxury resource. I want to build it next to it. Cause then, okay. Cause air still has room to spread out like two or three things out, so it'll eventually hit there. If I start a city here, it can spread out that way. So that way we can have this whole thing connected. Because that's the thing I hate in this game. I hate having a, I hate having cities that aren't touching. And I don't want to capture Brussels. Brussels has been good to me. I want them to be nearby and close enough that they feel obligated, like they're practically part of my kingdom. Yeah. Yes, now we're all part of the pride. That's right. I only want my cities to touch. If they're not touching, I... it's not worth it. Woo! Woo! I don't like sending a boat near here. These guys got projectiles. Hi, Lurker. Welcome to the stream. Although, by speaking in chat, you've already uh, betrayed your name. Not that I don't appreciate it. Just letting you know. Yes, another brilliant scientist! What will you do? Eureka's for two random technologies and the inspiration for one random civic uh, from the medieval and renaissance era. Cool. Bada bing! Reform church, military tactics, castles! Poor guy, liar. Or lurker, a liar by default. It's okay. At least you're honest when you talk. Alright, well, unfortunately, there aren't any routes this guy can take on this side to reach land. There might be something over here. So I'll start moving these guys over while that guy loops around the continent. The time turtles will reveal the, tr the truth in time.
finish this harbor. Give us more gold. More delicious gold. Another great person. A writer? Ah. Uh, I was hoping I could double up on the... That's something... That, that is something they've changed as far as I know from Vanilla Civ 6. Uh... Because I'm pretty sure you got a trade route from building a commercial hub just at all. Uh, and then building a harbor just at all. But now uh, you can only get one or the other in a given city. And you have to build their first building. It's not just from building the district. But let's get some housing and this one food on all coast tiles. Do we want to do that, or do we want to get something else? Do we want to get more builders? Write me something, Geoffrey Chaucer. A knight there was, and that's a worthy man. That fro the time that he first began. To ride and out, he loved chivalry. Truth and honor, freedom and courtesy. Thanks. More great work. But no. Armag, I thought we were... I thought we were friends. I thought I was allowed through your town. I'm not, I'm not his suzerain, so he won't let me go. Norway has a diplomat here? How did Norway find him? Oh, I just realized. I notice how many cities good old Teddy's got. However, Washington seems. Does that mean they're unhappy? It is the mark they're under siege. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know who's bugging them, but thanks. Oh, probably these friggin' barbarians. That's why they got so much stuff. He he left those guys just hang out in the in his lawn. And now they're bugging him. Isn't more any more room for writing. In Sterling. However, Haddington's got the space. You guys keep making your way this way. We're gonna have you hit the water over there. Apadana has been built by someone else, so I can't do it. You're right, I kept calling them, oh my god, now they don't want to let me in. I need to convert them. Speaking of 250, is that enough to get a apostle? Hell yeah, that sounds useful. Wait, actually, no. I know it's wasting time, but I'm going to have him throw that great work in that amphitheater. 
because that place is already pushing out extra culture. Oh, you dumb units. Brussels, I love you, but you're getting in my way. Bye, Keenan. Thanks for stopping by. We're getting dangerously close to getting our Scottish Galapagos, so don't worry. Probably won't be too much more of this stream. Oh, yeah. Also, offering to be a mod. I should take some of you guys up on that, considering of feudalism I am planning on streaming more in the armor, coming weeks. Until, at last, a fighting man resembled an armadillo. Take to the seas, my scouts! If I be she that may you do gladness, for every war ye shall recover a bliss, and him in arms took, and gan him kiss. Wow, Jeff, like that sounds beautiful, but there are so many words in there that feel mismatched with your ye old English. If our ah, would have let me through, we'd be looping around our continent up north, but alas, we gotta take the southern road. The southern watery road. Lurker, any idea what main games you'll be doing, or is it an I'll stream what I feel like kind of thing? Well, um... Civ will definitely be my, like, go-to, I'm just relaxing game, because this is... Honestly, the game I play probably the most, uh, just regardless of what's out. Uh, I've been really into Dragon Ball Fighters lately, so that'll be another thing I do a lot. Um, other than that, I know I'll play the Dark Souls remaster when it comes out. I don't know, kind of an eclectic thing. Mostly, ironically, other than this, mostly action games. Oh, yeah. Air needed some improvements. So we'll get that. Start heading up that way. Let's build... First, let's get the gold from those guys and build that quarry there. Since you're a beach city, I would like you to have walls, just in case sometimes barbarian ships float about. Sterling needs housing, huh? Indonesia! Gitarja! She's like a... She plays guitar. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? So where's... Who'd she find? Who'd we run into? Ah, oh, she came into Aberdeen! Just as we were building our walls! Hello, hey, she can travel on the ocean. What's she? A, a quad, 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 TTA Gamble, or Gamer, if uh, there was ever a chance of streaming Pokemon battles, you would battle me. Uh, I might do that. I used to be in competitive that battling, but haven't for quite a while now. Paddington, 
Haddington. Haddington Bear. Um, we haven't built... Actually, no. I want more trade routes. So we should be building more construction stuff. And you've got this nice little tundra that won't be doing me anything. I'm going to save the government plaza for this city, whatever they end up establishing, because that's going to be the one nearest other people and the most likely to need that loyalty. Have you gone back to playing Near Automata? I know you love that game, says Icy Mind Racer. Um... I did do all of the endings before end of the year stuff just because I knew enough people would be talking about it. Oh, Eric, use this aqueduct. Yes. Uh, and I absolutely loved it. Um, but since you're saying I loved it, you, I'm assuming you're referring to that because I, I liked it when we did the playthrough on the channel. But I fell in love with it once I actually finished it properly. Um, it was my my second favorite game of the year last year, on just right under Breath of the Wild. Uh, and even then, like, I could have easily gone back and forth on those. Uh, but yes, I did. But since beating it, I have not gone back. Uh, I did that final complete ending. Uh, I won't spoil too much stuff there, but after after how that game ends, I feel the proper way... Uh, is to uninstall that game and never play it again. <laughs> and that is not an indictment on it. I think it's an excellent game, but I feel like with where that game ends off, the truly poetic way to finish it is to be done with it. I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. A government unlocked. The monarchy! Hell yeah, look at all those military st slots we got now. Well, you know what? We still might fight bar barbarians every so often. And I frequently have garrisoned units, so giving getting amenities for those sounds great. that will let me the city select suggestion even is right there which is where we're going I should start building that next settler soon Carnage, uh, <coughs> Carnage X, or Carnage Rex, I, <laughs> having all those R's right next to, to each other confuses me here at 3.18 in the morning. Uh, you've never played a Zelda game? Don't feel too bad. Um, I would highly, hmm, what would I suggest is your first. Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo is amazing. Um... Breath of the Wild is a very good modern game, but it does not feel very much like a Zelda game, if that makes sense. So if you are looking to be like, I want to know what this Zelda franchise is all about. My, oh, you want to buy the Canterbury Tales from me? No way. Uh-uh, nothing doing. If I take this away. Uh, but you can keep... Okay, you know what? This seems like... How about this? Alright. Accepted. Yep, 
They finished the Colossus. Here, at FG, any plans on streaming the Tales series? I thought about it. That was actually, uh, I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about this. Uh, one thing I did want to stream at some point is the only Tales game I games I have played are the ones that have come out post Symphonia. I have never played any of the like 2D ones, uh, and I figured streaming those uh, those old ones would get me to play them. And so I thought I might share that experience with all of you. But I haven't quite committed to that. I also don't really have, um, let's say, very Flowers good legal me. means to dream. play them. I pull um, for myself. I'm I'm sure I could find ROMs me. and stuff, but I don't know I if I want to do that if I'm going to play them. I sort of want to play them move. properly. Who shall, with my but I don't know. You, you never know. Three. Let's go. Go ahead and get mad at me, America, because I'm getting pretty close to you. Cullen! Cullen doesn't look like he has a good means for food, so... Although, have I made Cullen so close to the beach that will I not be able to get to the Galapagos? Because if I make a settler, will he not be allowed to settle on these areas? That would be a bummer. Oh yeah, we've got hella faith. <laughs> he said. Where is Indonesia? Oh, shoot. I should have talked to her before ending my turn. Also, America's turned around on us. What else are the turtles all about? Do we want plus one faith and culture uh, from religious and culture buildings or science and gold? Because those are the two I'm definitely leaning on. I'll leave that to you guys while I sip from my water. Hmm. Spaghetti Star says science and cash, but Cyber B Cy Benny says faith and culture. The duality of man. Let's go faith and culture. I've already talked about how I think culture is going to be good for me. So I should probably keep gunning on that. And with that bonus faith. Oh yeah, and I've got the bonus that faith gets me settlers and missionary or er, er, settlers and builders. So yeah, I should definitely be up in my faith output. Even if I don't gun for a religious victory. Having tons of faith is going to get me a ton of stuff, so I should just keep getting it. That's right. I've been making this a, util a, a utility play for faith. No, oh, I forgot to make a quarry there. A quarry. Not Corey, like Corey Matthews. 
big spaghetti star. The culture victory is really fun. The religious one, on the other hand, I got the religious victory against the against the TFS guys. I don't even really know what plays into a culture victory in this game. I haven't. I I don't think I've ever gotten a culture victory in Civ Six. I got it in Civ Five before. Who's starving? Our Aberdeen starving. Yeah, that makes sense. They don't really have a lot of ways to produce food yet. Keep your Iliad. I want to keep my Canterbury Tales. They just want to pay me for my open borders? Sure. That's right, I also culture these uncultured swines with my turtles. In war by one's enemies. I want to discover another continent. I want to walk on more land. Jeez, Teddy's got seven. Making my way to you, Stockholm. Don't you worry. As I've said before, I've heard good things about your syndromes. Lord Perium, I got the culture victory by accident. France had the highest culture, but then I wiped them out, and as soon as I did, I won a culture victory. All right. I guess that's one way to go about it. Culture by force. Colin, can I buy you shit? What? I will buy you a builder. And oops. I never mess with managing citizens. I'm sure that's like a good way to do things, but it's just something I never do. Put that loyalty output. There we go. Also, I want to send you to Garrison there. In case anyone gets any funny ideas. I fan myself in this most languid heat. The forest invites one to lay all bare. I hang my hood upon a rocky crag, my head exposed, I bathe in fragrant air. That's right, Carnage Rex, America. I've browbeaten them to the point where they're like, please, I'll pay you to let me into your city. feeling sleepy before, but I'm starting to get there. But like I said, the goal is the Scottish Galapagos. Once that is clearly in, in my within my kingdoms, within my borders, uh, only then will I consider stopping this stream. I set out with a goal, Dag Nabbit. I will get it. So we're going to start spreading our religion, baby.
Welcome to the chat, Chicago. Don't know if you've been here for a while, but I just now saw you. Get us some of that wacky tobacco. Brussels. Become one with the lion. Right, Sterling, are you? You're running low on housing. Beat it, Indonesia. We need to get around there. Most of my money, but now we're getting over there. I should probably, like, long game st strategy spread out over here and here a bit more. Astronomy compels the soul Get to a stronger focus. southern base. And leads us from this world to another. Mm -hmm. Many dispute the actual start of the Renaissance era, but you know it was when Scotland discovered astronomy in 800 AD. Keep looking, fellas. Eventually, we'll find another continent. Oh, hey! I've met Norway. Yeah, I wanted to talk to her. Is it a delegation? Not right now! Harald Sigurðarsson stendur fyrir þér. Aldrei var víking slík lands ni lagar. <laughs> Ertu hrættur? No, I'm not that scared, but I know you're going to be mad because I have a shitty navy and that's like one of your things. And you know what? Before you have time to not like me. How can I... She's met. Everybody else must be on that other continent. What deals can we make? How about this for this? Alright, I know you're going to be a bitch about it because you don't like me for some reason. But what if I also gave you... Not... Hold on. Not ten. Say three. Not enough? Four. No? Five. Five gold a turn. For now, yes. I don't think it's actually worth that, but establishing trade with you will make you less angry at me.
Yes, our turtles in time do mention <laughs> our scriptures do say something about a big apple and the importance of 3 a.m. Blisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Ooh, I can build Angkor Wat. Plus one gold from every envoy sounds pretty good, but I don't. We're not building a ton of settlers anymore. Put that back. So we send a lot of envoys. Bam, look at that. Crack 45 gold a turn now. We are in that money. Person. Another great writer! Oh my gosh. We have a fucking mess of writers now. Alright, so. I should probably set the lady who's good at uh, diplomacy here, right? Uh, this chick. Works as two envoys if I set her at a city state. Yeah, other cities within nine tiles if you gain two loyalty plus turn to your civilization. That seems real good having her between two city states. Assuming city states can become loyal to you. And if not, she's still pretty much near America's borders. So I think I'm gonna have her go there. Go to Cullen. Right, Carnage. Running an empire with only 72 gold may seem difficult, but Aslan provides. I'm gonna get so many writers, I'm not gonna have room for all of their great works! Didn't know Scotland had its many written works. That's, yeah, that's where that edge is out, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I haven't been up that high yet. Or have I? Maybe I have. Yes, your delegation is most welcome. There we go. See, I turned it around. Everybody wants the Canterbury Tales, and I'm not giving it to them. Close your borders. You know what? 24 gold for 30 turns for the Canterbury Tales? It does sound nice, but no thank you. Here, what if you were giving me... Because you don't have any luxuries that I want, but what if you were just giving me 10 gold a turn? Seven now and four per turn. All right. I got elephants. All right. Once we're done with this wonder, build another settler.
Oh, we can just buy a settler with faith. I forgot. Let's fucking go. Have I not learned how to saw down trees yet? Well, I can saw them down, but I can't make a lumber mill yet. As a young boy, my brother Nobunori studied the Chinese classics, and I liked to sit in and listen to his lessons. I found that even when he struggled to understand or memorize passages, I would find them remarkably easy. My father, a well-read man himself, often used to lament this fact, saying, Such a shame! Would that you were born a man! Ah! Written in the time of sexism! You know, that thing that we don't do anymore. Okay, yeah, I think I have seen both of those routes to their ends. Pasir ikan luih alit Kawi gatin Pro pranaya ikan lan ingaranan ahayu You You got some biceps girl I mean they don't show off too well In this shot but before I don't know exactly what this means Is she happy that I'm not Settling on their continent yet Cause Bitch if I found it I'd be there Haddington needs more houses. It's like Mars needs moms. Haddington needs houses. Start heading that way, settler. He still hasn't founded a religion, so you know what? He can't be mad if mine starts making its way there. I'm just gonna have you wait for that other guy. Oh no! I think I'm out of places to put some great works of writing. So you're gonna have to wait. You go in here and just uh, sleep for a bit. Remind me that I have a brilliant author waiting in the wings, should the ability to use them come. Lord Perium, she likes that this land you're settling on is large. She would be upset if you were settling on small land. Okay. That seems like a weird, oddly specific thing, but I guess it is Indonesia. I wonder if I could go out there more. <clears throat> Spies. <laughs> there you go ahead. Saying no right now would cause undue problems. God, a, a spy has stolen, stolen astronomy? I can't even make spies yet. Which means it was one of you. Was the stirrup in the ground. Mercy I asked. Mercy I found.
Here's how you know I'm ready for business. Setting up an encampment right there. If someone starts coming in from the north, I'll see him. Alright, well, we've seen pretty much the whole southern chunk of our continent. And it's starting to look like we don't have any ways to get uh, to other continents until we can travel the ocean. So that'll probably be my next tech to investigate. Oh, that's right, Haddington needs houses. We'll get to that soon. Ooh, Kabul. Not quite enough preaching to get you faithful on the turtles. Well, don't worry. Oh, for a second, I thought that was I had a thousand faith. I was like, geez, I thought I just bought some. That settler wasn't cheap, you know. The day oh, no. we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, <sighs> devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. I'd be entering a dark age soon. Because I've only got 73 points on each 76. I think this era is almost done. But another brilliant scientist. We found the Merchant Republic. What have we got right now? Amenities uh, with garrisoned units or strength. What did we have here that has now been changed? What did we just lose? Was it the plus one production in every city? trade route or so, man just having that flat production bonus felt good I guess this is our new one though so we'll go ahead and put that in there for now Oh man, if I was allowed in his borders, I could snag that worker. Hey, delegation is most welcome, my friend. Yeah, your capital's all the way over there. All I need are two more era points. Come on. Oh, I should get it by finishing that, though. If this isn't the last turn. Um, Haddington needs housing. What can I build that? Oh, yeah. The aqueduct. It's practically built it. Oh, but that gets rid of that. I don't want to do that. Uh, if I build a builder instead, I can just make all this farmland. Oh, we can have more trade routes now. Sweet. We should do that, too. Actually, I bet I can buy a trade route and put it in Cullen, and that can probably get all the way to Stockholm like I need. Yes, we will build the great white lighthouse.
Okay, I was working on the Hagia Sophia. I was like, oh no, that temple isn't what I was trying to build, was it? Would me and Guitarja have to throw hands? It is a beautiful and important monument and Don't an international yourself, intercultural not. treasure. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea, it should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. Mm -hmm. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession. Agree. So that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Yeah, makes sense to me. Hell yeah. What great person do I have now? A great merchant! Oh yeah, hell yeah. I'm practically all the way to the golden age now. All I need to get is nine more points. Alright, what do you do? What's your character power? Gain 134 gold and one envoy? Sure. Industrial zone yet. Put you right there. There, now she's outputting loyalty from here to Kabul, Bandar, Brussels, and I think one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, she's barely put it out, but she is also hitting Chicago. And if America moves any further south, she will also be gaining loyal, putting loyalty on them. Scottish Galapagos are so close. Still can't reach him, huh? Alright, let's put this away real quick. What is the furthest we can reach? New Orleans? Baltimore? Hmm. Let's get that production. Also, America it would be nice to have open borders with you. What would it take? Gold. Sure. So, get out of that view. The Scott Lapagos. Oh, American writers and merchants. 
Whoa. What are they sending them down here for? Can they... Do shit over here? Sterling grows and its people take pride in its thriving metro metropolitan life. Because it's grown to a size that is good. Ten. Got plenty of amenities. I guess we could get more gold. Gold in them thar hills. Here, make the farm. You start coming back this way. Still waiting for that new town to get settled. You can start making your way back home. I should really work on. My science is still pretty bad. Yeah, you're right. America is really known for its pre-1000 AD works of writing. Too. Not just machinery. All right. This allows. Uh, it's fishing boats. I can get that ship though. Cartography. Won't be building two harbors anytime soon, but whatever. Build that with faith. Ah. Uh, why does it have to be right where I put that mine? Well, you know what? I'll remove that mine, but. Can I not buy a workhouse with faith? Or meeting house, rather? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That should counteract the production I just lost. Also, I'm going to start moving you back around to here. Because by then, I should have this and I can upgrade you to a caravel. Stuck home. Delegation is most welcome. Hey, I haven't killed any barbarians lately, but you're welcome. about heaven and hell. You see, I have friends in both places.
Hey, theocracy might be our alley. We've lost our strength versus barbarians, but that's fine. We haven't had to fight them in a while. Um, got quite a bit of gold from trade routes. Extra face, faith from buildings and holy sites, plus 50% if the city's population 10 or higher uh, is 10 or higher, plus 50% district uh, if district has at least three adjacency bonus. That seems like a lot. Because I'm pretty sure Sterling would follow most of those. Could get more money per trade route or more culture and science with every uh, international. That's, we don't have as many of those. Let's go with you. Because that will... Well, that'll immediately get a six gold. And that's honestly not that much. Uh, even if it is per turn. So how about... We dump more in faith! Okay, hold on. I want to see what the difference is. Right now we are getting 51 faith a turn. If we do this... It's not 56, that's actually not as big of a gain as I'd hoped, but whatever. But this'll help. <gasps> we can make golf courses now! When did we get that? Okay, what's their thing? They add culture and stuff if they're next to entertainment places. So that's what we need to start building. All right, I'm not gonna build these yet because I want to get, I want to figure out where I can put an entertainment center first. Uh, but I will go ahead and make this forest into a lumber mill. And you know what? I know I always said I was saving this guy for when I build a new city, but I will also do that here. Mass production, baby. Taking this sweet old time. I know. I'll deal with it later. Once we have the ability to build seaworthy creatures, don't worry. I'm going to be... There's a whole lot of map I want to explore. wasn't quite enough to get to a golden era, so we're back to a standard era. I may pick a dedication. Uh, every time I build a specialty district, I don't think I'm going to be building a ton of those this time. Gain two era score each time you convert a city to your founded religion for the first time. That's probably going to be happening soon. Every time I discover a new continent or natural wonder... Ooh, that might be important. Reform the coinage, gain an error score every time you successfully complete a trade route. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Hicksunt Draconis. Makes sense to me, anyway. Reform the coinage seems like it could be good though but this is really going to light a fire under my ass to sail the seas which is something I definitely want to do 
Alright, so we have to have 102 points in order to not befall a freaking Dark Age. Which would be a bad news bears. Who needs places? Arbor Dean needs housing. Well, I'll start building farms in there. That should get you some. Also, you're building the Great Lighthouse, right? Yeah, that'll still take 13 turns. Jeez, I thought that'd be faster. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not too. This shitty. This city's not too. This country is not too shabby. Wow, I mixed mixed up all those words. Not too shabby, this city. And by city, I mean kingdom. Stockholm wants to be converted. Oh, don't you worry. It's coming your way. And Bandar wants a trade route. I think we can figure that out. Plus culture if you're right next to the city center. Four era score. Nice. Truly, this golf course represents our civilization's spirit and defines the landscape of our empire. Yes, let's go. New city. I want you to have walls immediately. Okay, we're not quite there. But we will be soon. Oops, not citizens. Uh. 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 I, I want all of these. Oh, is it not? Can it not go that far? Is that too far out? Is this as much Galapagos as we can technically have? Is it still considered part of it? No. Did I not think this through? Uh, let me see. By monument. So I can't remember. I might be mixing up my civs, but I think it was Civ 5 that it was based on how much culture you were outputting, uh, whether or not your city could expand to certain sizes. But look, be, uh, be real. If uh, this is all of the Scottish Galapagos we get, I, I don't think that's a failure. It's not quite what I wanted. I wanted the whole thing, but we're missing literally, I think, one or two tiles. No, just one tile of it. In fact, this technically isn't part of it. Okay, that is. Some breathtaking appeal, though. Give this a couple turns to, um, bleh, to reconcile. You guys all want my great works and no. I refuse the deal. Sorry. Can you write anywhere yet? Doesn't look like it. Uh. 
You can't sail the ocean yet. Neither can you. Buses, we're eventually going to have to become closer friends because I'm going to need to get through there. What does the monastery do? Just gives me faith. That's not bad. However, I don't like those spots. Can I put a monastery here? Oh, that ends his turn. Huey Takali. Thanks, Teddy. Taking that away from me. The four characteristics of humanism are curiosity, a free mind, belief in good taste, and belief in the human race. Oh, there's my liberation wars. Declare war on a power that has captured a city from one of your friends or allies. No warmonger penalty for liberating any of those cities. Oh. Friends or allies. That's not city-states. Can build spies. Yes. Another writer. Oh, no. I mean, that's good, but I don't... I can't... I can put great works of, works of art there. Okay, I can put a monastery here. And I think I will. Actually, no. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, air needs some more stuff. You sit tight. I'm going to start upping air's production. Great works of writing, which, while great, doesn't exactly work right now. You need to start building more theater squares and therefore getting more places that can accept great works of writing. Also, I need to start spreading my religion up to America because I've got a bunch of cities and no religion. These, these fellas need turtles in time, Jesus. Sterling needs more houses still. Not all who wander <sighs> are lost. Yeah, can I? Oh, I. Okay, all naval units can now embark on the cities. Okay. I still want you to get there, though. Where's the one that's just like, all units get to go on the. Or are they counted as naval units? Oh, they are! Let's go. Let's start exploring the seas. America bringing its writers over here. Do they want them to be inspired by my great writing? Because of how excellent my writing is? Alright, let you grow a bit. Also, probably buy a worker so I can upgrade this stuff. Woo! Luxury resources.
I feel like the apostles, their thing was like they basically guaranteed it would spread. But they didn't get as many spreads. Meanwhile, the missionary couldn't spread as strongly, but gets to spread to more places. Carnage Rex, now that Scottish Darwin has gotten 90% of the Scottish Galapagos, is the string going to close soon? Yeah, I'm going to say 4.30, so about 15 more minutes. I just want to buy that tile, but I think this city is located in a place where I can't buy that tile. Okay, we need 180 to upgrade. Then we will wait. Because we'll have that next turn. Yeah, 4.30 is honestly a bit later than I expected to be playing. But... That's what happens with life. Sometimes things go later than you think. Rocks and Burr. Which is my new place, right? Yeah. Well, don't worry. You'll be getting housing soon. Because... Yeah, these places always provide a little bit of housing. You go to Washington, Mr. Apostle. An American... What? Zoroaster? I don't even know what that unit is. Is that his... Is that his great... Uh... Prophet? Oh no, an informal Kieran raid! That crazy man! Oh my god. Why aren't we friends anymore? You also just get to sleep until we have a... A place where we can put great writers. I think I can start building campuses soon. The Sheikhan Itza... Teddy, I was actually thinking about building that one. Looks like I might have to start stealing some of your cities. If I can start I making them unloyal. 24 hour banking. A diplomat is a man who always remembers a woman's birthday, but never remembers her age. Mm -hmm. I like that. going on in this thread oh if we get printing our religion spreads faster
Another brilliant scientist. Yo, we've discovered another continent. <laughs> what can you do, Emile Duchalet? Free technology, sure. Pichi Sakura, is there no sub option here? I don't stream enough minutes a month to have an option for subs yet. However, once I get that stuff figured out, I will do my best. A spy succeeded in stealing industrialism, industrialization. No. A great artist. That I do think I have room for. And if I don't, we will soon. Turns out I don't. Oh wait, maybe I do. Nope, turns out I don't. Alright, Guitarja. Now that I see your land, I'm probably gonna start asking about having some, uh... Open borders. And you currently don't seem like a big old fan of me. Night, Carnage. Thanks for sticking it out for so long. I am not giving you guys my great works. I don't see why you keep asking. J. of Armin the Seventh. It's an honor to meet you. I'd love to exchange stuff. Crusty stars bring up that we got fifty three viewers. I mean, I know people have different time zones, but at almost 4.30, just about at the end of this stream, so, uh, hope those of you who are here have had your fill, or something close to it. She's cool with me having an embassy. Uh, I want you to have open borders. What would it take? I accept this.
can't do anything yet, so you just sleep. Peachy Sakura, how do I show support and love for, uh, support and joy and love for stuff in the grant streams? Just showing up. It's more than enough. Uh, the fact that people are watching me do this already uh, makes me realize that I should be doing this more often because I am used to thinking like, eh, if I were to just stream Civ or something on a whim, no one would watch it, so who cares? And I, I would like to stream more. Man, this guy really... Everybody really wants the Canterbury Tales. But I'm not going to give it to you. What will you give me for this, though? 19 gold a turn? No thank you. What will you give me for this? I have nothing I'm willing to trade for that. For silk and open borders? Can't spare some silver? Jeez! You really want to hold on to that silver. Alright, buddy. But you know what? I'm so generous, I want I want to start a dialogue here. So you know what? I accept. Your bad deal. Cryptical88, I have no clue if you've already been asked this question or not, but what are your favorite and least favorite civs? If you mean, like, playable civilizations? Um, I for six, I really don't have a favorite I yet. Back in... I'm interested in, like, what more DLC will do for this game. So, I, by no means do I think this is a bad game. Or, like, not worth it. And... Whereas Civ 5 is done, I still think this has potential to get even better. Uh, and, that, and that means a lot to me. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, Basil the Lovable, the Shoshone. Yes, yeah, they were they were who I always played. Uh, if it was whenever it was up to me, if I wasn't gunning for some specific. Civ victory. All right, cool. Chicago is already down with the lion. They already roar with the rest of us. I'm going to end this turn and then I'll be done. All right. That looks like everything I would want to do. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to purchase one more. A pile to make sure we spread our good faith. And how much gold do we have? 429? Hehe, <laughs> 420. Um, can I buy anything for you? A granary would be good for you. So I'll go ahead and buy that. Alright, let's go ahead and save this. Um, oh yeah, I forgot some of these file names I've made. Um... We'll call this Scott Lapagas Islands. And, uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, thanks, everybody, for showing up. I think you probably just heard my heat kick on. Uh, it's been a fun time. Uh... Glad you all could join me. I'll try to stream more often from here on out. I know I've been kind of bad about doing that. I know I frequently say I'm going to do that more and keep not doing it. Uh, but this was pretty easy and fun. And uh, I'm a self-conscious guy, so I didn't have the, the camera and stuff on. But none of you guys seem to really complain about that. So, uh, hey, if, if me just showing gameplay footage and you hearing my voice is enough for you guys... I honestly kind of prefer these simpler setups. Uh, if I start, if I get, you know, affiliate or whatever it takes to have the bits and stuff like that, I'm sure I'll have like a fun graphic for that kind of stuff. But this was fun. I liked doing this and it was nice and simple and everybody I think seemed to have fun. Uh, and that's, that's my goal.
But all right. Uh, good night, everybody. Sleep well. Sorry if I kept you up. But that's how these things go. Good night.